Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. This is a report about a 61-year-old. It looks like a white man that got busted with 514 pounds of marijuana. I said, wow, the plug got unplugged. I mean, that's some weight, man. He was moving in his SUV. But uh, police in Missouri, uh, after he was acting suspicious after they pulled him over because of his behavior um it led to them you know kind of investigating a little more and uh you know he said his vehicle was rented and he wasn't able to provide the documentation and then they called for the k-9 unit to come to the scene and then uh, they, they found uh, the 514 uh, pounds of vacuum sealed bricks of marijuana all found in the back seat. And uh, he was arrested and charged with first degree drug trafficking of a controlled substance. And uh, he was sent back to prison for violating his parole. But it just made me to thank brothers. <clears throat> You know, if you have reached a certain level in the dope game and you getting money hand over fist, brother, it would be wise to begin. It would be wise to make your exodus, man, to put your money into investments uh, that will give you sleep. You know what I'm saying? Give you rest. I mean, oftentimes, times, you know, I know brothers who really on, they ain't the ones out front moving, moving the way. But it's like, say, man, these government agencies can tap into your phone. They know who the, they know who the trap stars are, right? So when they get ready to bust us, they'll let you get, you know, let you get your bread up, let you get your weight up. But most of us are not wise enough to get our money and carry up and get out. Right? We, we want to keep getting it. Greedy. Greed. So, and, and then a lot of the weed uh, that most of the weed that we're smoking, our people are smoking, is laced with THC. Which is not a natural chemical. The actual weed that our creator originally desired for for us to have doesn't get us high that's not the purpose it was created for brothers it was created for medicinal purposes not to smoke and make us you know (laughs) become a little other than ourselves but i'm gonna play a clip also of brother wesley uh who's a scholar talking about how it also is feminizing men so we wonder why men today in the black community and brown community and other communities are so complacent right even when it comes to our women and children it be cops coming into certain communities beating up on children and women and the men just sit there and record and look why why do you think so because as we own that weed. That's, that's part of the reason. I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. The depo probera that our government targeted you and I with actually induces, chemically induces homosexuality in men. Do you follow? Now, many drugs, they say, Besides these anti-androgens, such as Depo-Provera, many drugs, such drugs, appear to at least partially divert or block masculinization of the nervous system during neuro-organization. Many drugs besides these have a partial demasculizing effect. The list includes barbiturates, which are drugs, yada, 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 marijuana. Uh Uh-oh. Your weed family is subtly, partially feminizing you. 
We are documented. See how quiet it is? See how quiet it is? What? What? You want to get up and walk out on me like the LGBT walked out on the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan in Long Beach? That's what you want to do? Okay. Okay. We have documented that the enhanced weed, now look, in this confession, marijuana is identified by the conspirators as an anti-androgen drug that assaults, that blocks the development of masculinity. We have documented that the weed that hit the streets in the late 60s came through CIA laboratories and passed first through the hands of CIA assets before you were ever able to light it up yourself. We have also documented that not only does this, does this now popular government touch weed with its increased THC content, not only does it diminish executive cognitive function, yeah, bro, you you pretty functional when you lift it. That is that is true. You can go to work, and if the job ain't too complex, you can do a reasonably good job at it. We we don't mess with nigga stuff. We the THC diminishes what they call executive cognitive function that higher level thinking that black god thinking we have documented that not only does it poison your sperm and i'ma mention why it's quiet over there we have documented that not only does it poison your sperm but it also mildly feminizes you we're going to look at some of the manifestations of the mild feminization. But we also documented that since 1975, the U.S. government has made imported and domestically grown marijuana effectively an ethnic weapon against black people by contaminating much, if not most, if not all of weed plants with a dangerous pesticide called Paraquat. Paraquat has what's called a melanin affinity. That means the toxic chemical binds to melanated tissue and it attaches and stays in melanated bodies for life, releasing poisons into the body. Weed has been weaponized, ethnically weaponized against black people. Yet, yet, weed smoking is the religion of black folks 45 and under, including those of us in here. Weed smoking has become a religion in the hood, in the black community. And bruh, you got your weed religion from the same person you got Christianity from. The Depo Provera that our government targeted you and I with actually induces, chemically induces homosexuality in men. Do you follow? Now, many drugs, they say, besides these anti-androgens such as Depo-Provera, many drugs, such drugs, appear to at least partially divert or block masculinization of the nervous system during neural organization. Many drugs besides these have a partial 
demasculizing effect. The list includes barbiturates, which are drugs, yada yada, yada yada, yada yada, marijuana. Uh oh. Your weed family is subtly, partially feminizing you. We have documented. See how quiet it is? See how quiet it is? What? What? You want to get up and walk out on me like the LGBT walked out on the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan in Long Beach? That's what you want to do? Okay. Okay. We have documented that the enhanced weed now look, in this confession, marijuana is identified by the conspirators as an anti-androgen drug that assaults, that blocks the development of masculinity. We have documented that the weed that hit the streets in the late 60s came through CIA laboratories and passed first through the hands of CIA assets before you were ever able to light it up yourself. We have also documented that not only does this, does this now popular government touch weed with its increased THC content not only does it diminish executive cognitive function, yeah, bro, you you pretty functional when you lift it. That is that is true. You can go to work, and if the job ain't too complex, you can do a reasonably good job at it. We we don't mess with nigga stuff. We the THC diminishes what they call executive cognitive function. That higher level thinking, that black God thinking. We have documented that not only does it poison your sperm, and I'ma mention why it's quiet over there. We have documented that not only does it poison your sperm, but it also mildly feminizes you. We're going to look at some of the manifestations of the mild feminization. But we also documented that since 1975, the US government has made imported and domestically grown marijuana effectively an ethnic weapon against black people by contaminating much, if not most, if not all, of weed plants with a dangerous pesticide called Paraquat. Paraquat has what's called a melanin affinity. That means the toxic chemical binds to melanated tissue and it attaches and stays in melanated bodies for life, releasing poisons into the body. Weed has been weaponized, ethnically weaponized against black people. Yet, yet, weed smoking is the religion of black folks 45 and under, including those of us in here. Weed smoking has become a religion in the hood, in the black community. And bruh, you got your weed religion from the same person you got Christianity from. 